so I refused to go with him. 57-year-old Don Owsley woke up one morning with a splitting headache, but he blamed the headache on anxiety over the lack of work. His family saw something more and called 911. But Owsley refused to be taken to the hospital despite the urgings of the paramedic. And he kept pleading with me and, and telling me, come on, let's just go get checked out. The big thing is denial. We're, we're all big on denial. Well, it's probably not this, it's probably not that. Owsley finally listened and was taken to the hospital. Turns out he was bleeding in the brain and never knew it. He was immediately flown to a Tampa hospital where he spent two weeks recovering. Well, I would have laid in there in the bed and died if they hadn't have been so persistent and to get me to go and stay with me and keep pleading with me to go. Listen, paramedics don't get a bonus for every person they take to the hospital. If they say it's in your best interest to go to the hospital, go. Chest pain, stomach pains, or headaches can all be symptoms of something very minor or something deadly serious. This is an excellent case right now that shows just the complaint of a headache or some confusion was an actual uh, you know, surgical emergency that saved the gentleman's life. Oh, I'm, it's great to be alive. As a public service from the Lehigh Acres Fire District, I'm firefighter EMT Patrick so Comer with your safety first. Everybody involved that uh, helped me and gave me prompt and professional uh, 